Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got an absolute beast question for you today. This is from AQA uh, Paper 1, Summer 2022, and it's the final question on the paper, and it is for a whopping um, 16 marks. So let's get stuck into it straight away. So it first says, given that um, y is equal to cosec theta, express y in terms of sine theta. Okay, well, that is relatively straightforward. Um, because cosec is the reciprocal of sine, so therefore y is equal to 1 over sine theta. Okay, great. Um, hence prove uh, that the derivative with respect to theta is equal to minus cosec cot. Okay, well what we're going to do is we're going to do the quotient rule. So we're going to say that u is equal to 1 and v is equal to sine theta. Um, we're going to differentiate uh, 1 to get 0, and we're going to differentiate sine to get uh, cos. Uh, and then we're going to use the quotient rule, which states that the derivative uh, is equal to uh, v uh, u dash minus u uh, v dash all over v squared. Okay, and in this case, uh, we can use theta. Okay, so let's substitute into that then. So we get dy by d theta is equal to um, v is sine, uh, but that's times by zero, minus u is one, and that is times by uh, cos theta. And that's all over v squared, which is going to be sine squared theta. Okay, great. Um, so how does this simplify? This simplifies to minus cosine theta over sine squared theta and we can write this as well I want, I want the cosec first so cosec is 1 over sine theta multiplied by cos theta over sine theta and there's a minus sign so let's put it there so you can see this is the same because the two denominators here times to make sine squared and the two numerators times to make minus cos. So that works out perfectly. Uh, but minus one over sine is minus cosec, and we're multiplying that by cos over sine, which we know is cot. Okay, great, there's four marks in the bag. Um, let me get grab some space. Okay, right, so now moving on to A part three. It says show that the square root of y squared minus one over y is equal to cosine theta for zero, uh, for theta between zero and pi over two, which means theta is um, acute, which means we can use our, um, our trig triangle, uh, which I highly recommend. I find them very, very useful for working out different um, trig expressions when we know one trig expression and the one we do know is that y is equal to cosec theta or y is equal to 1 over sine theta so we can rearrange for sine theta um, which gives me 1 over y uh, just double checking is that right yes it is lovely so I can put um, theta the angle in there and if sine theta is 1 over y, then sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And then what we're left to do is to work out the, um, uh, the adjacent. So I can use Pythagoras' theorem for that, because uh, we know that 1 squared plus, well, let's just call this x for now, uh, x squared is equal to y squared. So x squared is equal to uh, y squared minus 1. So x is equal to the square root of y squared minus 1. So let's put that in there. Uh, whoops. So let's put that in there, the square root of uh, y squared minus 1. Okay, uh, and then we can find cos theta. So cos theta, as we know, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Um, so in this case, the adjacent is the square root of y squared minus 1, and the hypotenuse is y. And there we have it. We've got an expression for cos theta, uh, and it is exactly what they've asked for. Perfect. 
Okay, right, let's move on to the uh, integral. Okay, right, on to the integration part. And, oh, talking of integration, I've got a live revision session coming up on Wednesday, the 29th of May. Check it out, and um, hopefully I'll see you there. Okay, so x is equal to 2 cosec u. Um, okay, that's the substitution. So what I tend to do is, well, I differentiate first to get an expression for dx. So that's going to give me dx over um, du. Now, we've already shown the derivative of uh, cosec, and that's minus cosec cot. So two lots of cosec would differentiate to two lots of minus cosec cot. So I could write that in here. That's u, and that is u as well. Um, okay, and I'm looking at the um, integral here, and it would be very helpful to get um, x squared uh, as the subject. That would be really helpful. Uh, so I'm going to write uh, x squared is equal to, uh, when I square the substitution, I get 4 uh, cosec u, uh, cosec squared u, sorry. And also, I find it quite helpful to rearrange for this as well, this square root of x squared minus 4. So if I was to do x squared minus 4, then that would be 4 cosec squared u minus 4 and then if I were to square root that that would equal to well first what I could do is I could take out a 4 and I could write this as cosec squared u minus 1 and then square rooting that would give me this now what is cosec squared minus 1 well, if you don't know your trig identities, you can always just write sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. And if I'm looking for a cosec, then I'm going to want to divide by sine squared because 1 over sine is cosec. So dividing through by sine squared like that gives me 1 plus and cos squared over sine squared is cot squared and that's equal to cosec squared. So that means that cosec squared minus 1 is equal to cot squared. Okay, great. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to replace this with cot squared. And also, if I'm square rooting 4, that's just going to give me 2. Uh, in fact, let's not, skip a, let's not skip a step. So let's just write 4 cot squared u. So this is going to give me, when I square root, it's going to give me 2 cot u. Okay, great. Uh, so I've got an expression for uh, the denominator now with x squared and the square root of x squared minus 4. And I've also got an expression for dx as well if I was to multiply both sides here by du, like that. So I think I'm good to substitute in now. Uh, and that, oh, there we go. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's just do it here. So I'm going to integrate. Um, so, so 1 multiplied by dx. So I'm going to write dx on the top line. So it's minus 2 cosec u cot u du. And then on the bottom, I'm going to write x squared, which is 4 cosec squared u. And I'm also going to write the square root of x squared minus 4, which is 2 uh, cot u. Okay, perfect. Um, let's now do some cancelling. Well, we can see here that the, uh, the 2 and the 2 uh, will disappear. Um, the cot u and the cot u as well, they will cancel. And I can cancel a cosec, and that will cancel with the cosec squared on the bottom, and just leave cosec on the bottom. Perfect. So I've still got a negative sign there. Um, so this is the same as the integral of uh, minus 1 over 4. Uh, and I've got a cosec on the bottom, uh, which means I'm dividing by cosec, 
which is the same as multiplying by sine because the reciprocal of cosec is sine. So I'm timesing through by sine is the same as dividing by cosec. Um, so that's great, and that's exactly what they've asked for. So I could take out the, uh, the minus a quarter outside because it's a constant, and you could take constants out of integrals. Uh, so we get this. Um, so we can finish off by just saying that k is equal to minus a quarter. Uh, perfect, right, let's move on to the next. Uh, okay, so uh, we now know that the integral can be written as minus a quarter, the integral of sine u uh, du, uh, where u, of course, was 2 cosec, oh no, sorry, where x was uh, 2 cosec u. Okay, um, so it's asking us to now to show that they could be equal to this. So I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to integrate. Um, so I can take the quarter out and when I integrate sine it goes to uh, minus cos. So minus cos, okay, uh, plus c. Um, okay, so where are we going to go from now? Well, <clears throat> this question is quite, it's, it's absolutely beautiful actually because we're going to use um, this part here. We're going to use this fact. Um, yes, we are. So let's just build it up again. So we had that y was equal to uh, cosec theta. And in that instance, it means that cos theta would be equal to the square root of y squared minus 1 over y. So what do we have? We've got a relationship between x and u, and we need to use this relationship between y and theta. Uh, so our relationship, which we need to use, is that x over 2 is equal to cosec u. And that means that cos of u, by following the same relationship, I'm just replacing the y now with an x over 2. So that means that it's going to be the square root of x over 2 squared minus 1 all over y, which in this case is x over 2. Okay, great. So what we've done there, just to clarify, is we've used this identity um, on this relationship between x and u. Uh, does that work? Yeah, it does. That's perfect. Okay, great. So now we can substitute into um, the uh, well the integral that we have uh, found. Uh, so that simplifies to a quarter cos u plus 6, which is going to equal a quarter of the square root of x over 2 squared minus 1 all over x over 2. Now how's best to simplify this? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply um, yeah so this this x over 2 all squared is the same as x squared over 4 so let me just write it like that um, x squared over 4 um, now I want to multiply the top uh, fraction here essentially by root 4. I'm going to times the top by root 4 and of course I'm going to times the bottom by root 4 as well. Um, okay so what does that do? Well that leaves me with, I'm going to keep the quarter there, <clears throat> but I'm going to multiply uh, um, these two square roots essentially here. Uh, and when we multiply two square roots, we can just times the uh, the value inside the square root together. So I can times inside here by 4. So that's going to give me the square root of x squared minus 4. And um, But at the bottom, I don't have a square root there, so essentially I'm just multiplying by 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. So that's just going to give me x. And I'm also times it by a quarter, and that quarter can drop down, or the 4 can drop down uh, below the fraction sign. 
because obviously times it by a quarter is the same as dividing by four. So I could write it like this. Um, and of course we have plus C as well. Uh, so I think we are good. Yes, we are. Beautiful. Right. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.